Hello everybody. Welcome into the Let's Look Brad channel. So I don't have any coins today, but I do want to give you all some more helpful information if you're going through about getting coins and especially the coins you may have already. About also looking online to see kind of what you can get for them for sale if you're looking to sell your coins. Uh, one of the websites that I usually go to, as you see right up here, it's got the Mercari website. This is a pretty nice website for a lot of used coins. Um, you might find coins on here that folks don't know what they're doing with them. They just post them to sell. Commemorative coins, half dollars, trade dollars, dollar coins, you name it. There's a lot of coins on here for sale. Um, like I said, usually I go through this. I kind of judge this website compared to what uh, I have in my coins. Also, the coin values, it definitely tells in like the... Uh, uh, condition of the coins also to show you more or less what they're selling for online for their condition of the coins and then you know basically information about them would they each of the coins basically will have their uh, date and the mint mark for them so 1911 s 1912 philadelphia 1929 s so forth so on so a lot of these coins on here I, they're really nice uh, if you have a collection or if you've been uh, trying to complete an album or if you're trying to complete a collection Definitely go on this website here. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Mercari or whatnot, but as mentioned, I do get a lot of stuff off of here. And it'll probably be the, uh, I have some a few things at the house actually I'm gonna do as a giveaway. So I'm gonna try to do that video whenever I get back toward the house on the 8th of November. So hopefully I have that video ready. But as mentioned, um, this right here, let's say you go on, let's say you have anything from a large scent. As you see, this is a 1849 large scent. Go over here and click on this just to show you. It will pop up the information about what they're looking for on it. So an 1849, looks in pretty decent condition. Looks like it may have been cleaned around the rim a little bit. A little bit of the scratching that's on the face, that's probably just normal wear. And you click on over here and it shows you different pictures of what it's got on here. So as mentioned, if you've got an 1849 braided hair large scent, and this one is clean. So this one did mention that it was clean. Sorry about that. Got the stand, the camera up on the stand, but saying it's clean. But if you had a coin that was somewhere in this condition, you can see that some of the leaflets in there, the one scent is standing out pretty nicely. It's not flattened all the way around. You can see the denticles all the way around the coin here. So that's a pretty nice, it's a really nice large scent actually. So it has been clean. As you can see the serration marks going across the face and stuff. Looks like it's got a little bit of die crack coming out right here. It's probably a variety of some sort, possibly. But in 1849, they've got it posted at 219 bucks. Now the fees on here are a little bit high, but that's only if you're selling to somebody. Somebody would have to pay that. So you're not gonna pay out of pocket for that. You can have somebody pay for the delivery of it. But anyhow, usually these large cents are actually quite a bit of money. Um, as mentioned, I've went through and I bought quite a few myself. It may have some doubling on there. That's pretty cool and really thicky on there, really thick in. But anyhow, that's a beautiful coin and it is clean and you still see it's for $219. Now, if you go online and you check for um, what the pricing of these could be, let's see, an 1849. Now, I use PCGS a lot, so PCGS. Just as a price guide, you can use NGC, you can use whatever you want to. You can use a rare coin guidebook if you have to. You can go into um, the, uh, there's also price guides that are also through like papers. There are certain papers that certain, um, certain um, card shops, certain coin shops also give out to show you what your grades could be on there. It's kind of interesting because some of the card shops I've been to, they'll tell you literally about like, flying eagles and then nickels and if you go in the next week it'll tell you something about quarters and dollars and it'll give you a price of what those would be out um so we got a braided hair half no it's not a half cent it's large cent take you back so basically you're going to look down through here you're going to look down through here and you can see it says large cent and half cent we definitely want to be in the the, the one cent area so that's going to be an 1849 braided hair scent. It turns blue. When it turns blue, just click it. And it also gives you the dates on there too. So we got ourselves an 1849. You want to look over here to the left. And you see it's got 1818, 1823. I'm going to scroll on down. Let's see. Yep. Till we get our 1849. 
So 1848 must be a different variety for that hammer. Let's see if we can find it. Huh. I think it was 1849. Let's see. Go back over here. Yeah, 1849. Braided her large hand. Hmm. Let's go back over here and check. So 18... 1849. That's funny. Right here it goes from 48 to 50. It doesn't have it on there. Maybe it's a variety. Let's go up here. That's interesting. 1830s, 1848, 57. Huh. Yeah, that is interesting. Let's go up here and we're going to go to search 1849 braided hair. <clears throat> was it half cent? Let's see. I thought it was large cent one cent so it would say half cent on there but this one says large cent so this is interesting because this is literally like the first coin i pulled up to search with you guys to check through the video braided hair large cent interesting because it doesn't show it on there 1849 there it is wait is this half stitch eighteen eighty seven with an eighteen eighty nine yeah so this is it that's interesting yeah, kind of crazy, but um, anyhow, if you come to PCGS website, it gives you a magnifying glass so you can actually look this thing over. You can look the coin over and it shows you exactly what you're looking at. So if you didn't know that, make sure you check out PCGS. It lets you go through the pictures. You're not going to have to do it with uh, um, your computer because I don't think it works on your phone, but you can see the details, what it would give it. And they have this one as an MS-66 Red Brown. So that's a pretty nice gray for this thing. But let's scroll on down this. See, glad that I found it because that was interesting. Uh, so yeah, so you come down here and it shows you in population. So if you come through here, you can see in population of how many of these PCGS and population are graded. So there's 18 of them that are graded at 65. And this is the auction price is what they sold for. So as you see, is quite low compared to the 5850 that you got. Same thing with this one, two graded at 64 plus. That's the price at auction they got. 18 of them here, $2,800 is what the auction price would come at. <clears throat> 2,800 is what their price guide is, and this is what it's getting at the auction. So it's a different thing too, also when you when you talk about auctions on here. Now, uh, Stack Bowers is gonna be your SB there, your SB on there. Your HA is going to be Heritage Auction. And I'm not for sure what the GO is on there. But these are the prices of auction prices. Auction prices. But you can call up folks. You can call up the auction blocks and actually talk to them when it's high and when it's low. So I wanted to say at the time that I was talking to them, they were saying in the September time frame, whenever these looked like they went, that it was going to be selling high on the, on the date that I was looking for on selling a couple of coins. Now, you definitely want to, each year is different, so you definitely want to make sure you're, you're calling and talking to the folks, getting information about it if you got a high-graded coin, but you definitely want to look through there and make sure you're you're getting the right price, which this is all about pricing, Talk to you guys about pricing, about the um, the grade and everything on there, so this is going to be big. Yet again, over here, you got 14 of them that were graded. At a 63, they're telling you 
that PCGS pricing was telling you that this is going to be 2650 here, but it's selling at this right here. So that's a big thing to look at. But, you know, yet again, if you're talking, that guy was looking for, what, $229, um, $229 bucks on that coin there. Literally a, a grade 60 there, it'd be about 550 bucks, but it's clean. So he's probably looking a bit too high, bit too high for this one at 219 bucks, I would say. You know, being clean, it's going to get a details, come back information on there. A lot of times folks don't want to buy a clean coin because the, the just having that attribution of cleaned on there, like if it says details clean, that kind of frays away a bunch of folks from buying it. So it's always best that you try to get these things graded. If, you know, all in all, if you've submitted an offer for submission for $18, you get a straight grade, you just want a straight grade on it, but it comes back into details, you're probably going to have to take a little bit of cut on it because people do not want to buy it, as mentioned. As, as a lot of people don't want to buy it. I buy corroded, I buy clean, but a lot of people won't buy it whenever it has that clean details on there. So let's back out here. Let's look at another coin. Let's just go into it, clear that. And then too, if you, to let you guys know, so on here, whenever you go on Mercari, you can, this is for you, this is a basic, just broad. So when you go in the search bar up here and you search trade dollars, or if you search uh, pennies, or if you search a large cent or Buffalo niggas or whatever, when, after you do that search, the next time you come back into Mercari, majority of this is gonna be what you kind of search for in that search bar. It's going to try to throw trade dollars in there, a bunch of, uh, uh, you know, mercury dimes or V nickels or whatever you're looking for. This search right here is basically going to be the sum of what they're thinking you're looking at for the search bar, the previous search. So let's come on down here. Let's look for something cool. See if there's something on there. Um, 1953. So let's say about this right here, far left side over here, you got a 1953 D Franklin half dollar. They got 26 bucks. That's kind of high. I mean, because right now, if you're looking at coal, basic, like flat coal, silver pricing, basically of this half dollar, you're looking right around $12. I mean, there's, there's no high value in it. It's got scratch mark across the cheek here. It's got damage across the coin itself. The coin itself, the luster is completely gone. A lot of the stuff's completely flat on it. Um, even the bell, like I said, you don't have the full bell line across the bottom side of the bell. You can see the Denver Mint mark up top, but it's got damage all heavily inside of there. He heavy damage all around it. So it's definitely not going to be a $26 for what they're looking at on here. So just want to give you guys a heads up. You definitely want to look for if it's, if it's a really nice grade and especially if it's a silver content, how much silver content you have in it. And uh, like I said, grade is going to compare a ton on luster, a ton of, of making sure all this coin right here is completely lustrous and clean. There's no damage on the bell all the way around. You might have a few bell lines. Like you might not have all the bell line, but just a few bell lines across there. I mean, you can still get a 65 grade if it's all top notch. But this right here, like I said, it's pretty beat in, pretty scratched up. So 26 bucks, it's really tough to call on that. So you definitely want to look and compare it to your grades on like, you know, your, uh, you know, it, per me, per me, I can look at the grades on here. I can see kind of that that's not going to be, it might be in like a G8 condition or, uh, or probably G6 condition, pretty rough. And if we come back here and me back up some, get you back to the main menu. Yet again, PCGS, make sure to look at your headlines on here, half cents and cents. So we're going to come over here, arrow, we're going to go down arrow. Two and three cents. You got your nickels, your dimes, 20 cent pieces, and quarters, and half dollars. So we're going to come down here to the Franklin half dollars blue. We're going to tap on it. It's going to bring you up here. We're going to scroll down until we see our 1953 on that left side. 1952, 1953D. So 1953D, we've got it right here. So this is gonna be, this is right here, one thing that gets people confused because you'll see a 1953MS and then below it, you'll see a 1953FBL, full bell line. This is what I was showing you a second ago, that if that bell had lines all the way across the bottom of it, 
that would give you a full bell on attribution, which actually aids in a few more dollars once you get up in higher grades. You see it starts basically going up from the 64 grade, as you see up here. So MS64, if you come down here to the full bell line, it's giving you probably another $15 of extra value. But then once you get past that 64, it starts to climb quite a bit higher. 67 grade, it gives you 16,500 bucks. And a 67 grade on the regular MS state is only 3,600 bucks. So definitely, definitely make sure you're looking at that. Um, but then again, we'll go MS 63. Let's do this. Let's see. Oh yeah. So there it is right there. It's automatically got it for you. So it's kind of skipped the grades. Did you see a period? That's a grade 12. So you're going to go 12, 40, 55, 60, 62, so forth, so on. So I was saying it was going to be around a, probably a, a G8 or so. Basically, it's not going to drop below that $16 because that's about what the melt value is right now, right around you know, 16 bucks for the coin. He's looking for $29 for it. It's pretty high. So you want to make sure, like I said, keep checking around. This, and I'm only showing you guys the Mercari side because this is a nice little comparison if you've got something. And then too, if you've, if you've never seen this side before, jump on it, take a gander. There's a lot of stuff on here. There's a lot of stuff on here. You can actually look at all the sellers stuff that they're selling. Uh, you can follow people. They can follow you. You can comment back and forth. You can talk to folks on there. You can persuade offers or you can, and so forth and so on. So it's a lot to do on there. But anyhow, as mentioned, 16 bucks. We go back here to our 1953D, 2610. Plus you got to pay the $4 in delivery and $4 in fees. That's going to take you almost to that $37 right there that he basically canceled for the price of it. So pretty high. So definitely don't want to look at that. Let's come on down here. Now let's go to this. This is a nice one here. This is going to be a 1912 Denver. You see right here, 1912 Denver. Very fine barber half dollar. I love barber half dollars. Let's scroll on down here. So 1912 gives you pictures of it. You can depict and slide around and look. Um, that's going to be the case on there. It has that nice little scratch across there. So don't be confused on that. Um, got the Denver mint mark on the bottom of the, the tail feathers here, right above the D and the O. So we definitely got a Denver mint mark on there. Now, a 1912D, let's go up here to just our PCGS. Scroll back, it is a half dollar. It is a barber half dollar, so it's a 1912. So right there, you can see it's got 1892 to 1915, so it's gonna be right in between there. Tap that barber half dollar. Second load, go over here, scroll down, find our 1912. A little bit further, 1909, 1912. Let's see, see, 1912 Denver off the side here. They come back over here to the side. So 1912 Denver. So even at a low grade, a G4, a low grade, wait, yeah, for 50 bucks. So this is at kind of a high dollar, half dollar then. I guess being that it's a, a you know, a barber coin, they're more premium on it. So that's probably what's actually keeping the value up is a premium on there. But uh, 1912 Denver, so 50 bucks already right there. Now, if you move and get that that 12, that nice little, uh, I think it's a very very fine via. Anyhow, if you get that 12 grade on there, it's gonna be 115 dollars. So at a how much did they have on there? Let's go back up here and swap back over. So they had 159 dollars, and it is 21 dollars in fees and 3.99 in delivery. So you're looking at about what 180 bucks get we take on there so basically for you to come out and buy this 1912d it would have to hit a 30 grade as you see up here 30 grade that'll basically actually it'd have to be up here in a 40 grade which that's another coin there that probably don't want to touch so 275 bucks that's if you get it graded because you're gonna have to pay the 18 dollars on top of that to get it graded so that's going to cost you almost 300 dollars just to get this coin, to have it, to keep it. So you'd almost have to hit anywhere between the 45 and 50 grade, which is not here. That'd take you up into the AU status there. Um, my brain is kind of slowed up this morning. I don't know why, but anyhow, so you definitely definitely don't want to pick that one up, 1912D. But if you need it for your collection, you know, it's a long shot, but there's probably a plenty more places you go to to look at that. Because like I said, 1912D, 
very fine barber. So F F15, I think that's what it is, but half dollar. So you're almost paying 180 bucks to buy this thing, plus to get it graded if you want to slab it, but it's not going to be worth it. So you definitely want to try to get these things around. If you can find them online, you can most likely get them around 90 bucks to 80 bucks on these. And, uh, but even then, like I said, that's crazy. They're often $159 on there. So pretty wild. But just jumping on here with you guys, kind of go through a few things. I, don't, I haven't had any coins, which I feel bad, but um been working six days a week. There's not much going on for me to get coins. A lot of the banks won't offer me boxes and so forth and so on. But here's actually a three-cent piece. You don't see a lot of these on here. It says uncleaned. 1853 silver three cent piece fine so you, yeah you don't see a whole lot of these let me scroll up just a little bit get you better visual you don't see a lot of these these are silver now you will have a silver or a three cent nickel which is different it'll have these three columns right here these three roman numerals on there but it won't have this big c so this is cool 48 bucks that's not too bad actually it's an 1853 I think the normal dates are 52s. So 53 is interesting. That's nice. So let's go right here and cancel this out. Uh, 48 bucks and then $6.83 in fees. Free shipping. So free shipping right there is good because that'll save you $5 I'm paying on top of that. Let's go look at this one real quick. So an 1853 Trime. Three cent piece. That's what they call the Trime. Three cent piece. So you go up here. Same thing if you look at your your headers on here, your black headers, the two and three cents. So three cent silver. So it's gonna be that eighteen fifty three there in between those dates. Scroll you down a little bit. Uh small star MS, large star, three lines. Hmm. Oh, I guess it is a fifty three. So that's interesting. Alright, so on here also, whenever you're looking at PCGS website, it could be NGC also. I don't think Annex has a big uh, a big uh, platform on there for attributes and stuff. But read the top side up here. So this is a type 1 small star, type 2 large star, three lines. So what we saw on this other one here is just the header right here. Just the header on there shows 1853 type 1 silver, three, three cent piece. So we're definitely got our type one here. So we're gonna go to this 1853. Now, if you look at a horrible condition on this thing, it's $72. So basically he had it at $49, I think it was. If you go back up here, Mercari, so $54. So $54 after your fees and after you buy it, so 54 bucks, come back over here to this three cent piece. They've got it for $72 and a, the, one of the worst grades. And it actually, when it turned green with that little arrow in there, that means the price of it is going up. So you see all the green on here, all the green across there. That price of this Trime is going up. So that's pretty interesting. It's $72 and it's probably in that G4, G6 condition. Uh, I mean, it might you might get that G6 condition. So you're talking around like say seventy, seventy five dollars, eighty dollars, give or take for that piece. So you're basically going to be profiting another twenty five bucks off of buying it. You know, fifty four dollars, and this thing's about seventy five dollars. So you're going to probably like say make twenty two, twenty five dollars off of the top of buying it. But it's a cool piece. Three cent silver is really tough to find too, and it's really tough to find in the decent condition. But that's cool. That's a uh, that's really cool actually. I've only bought like one three cent piece actually off of Mercari here, which that's crazy. So take you back out real quick since we're already at quite a few minutes on this video. But as mentioned, if you uh, if you do get on Mercari, save searches. So you've got a red dot beside my save searches here. So whenever I tap that, it takes me into my main searches, the ones that whenever I go in here, they automatically throw a flag on here showing you whenever you have new coins on the selections you want so my selections as you see go back up here to the top are braided hair large scent metal detector fine pin pointer west point coins uh cat bus half dime cheerios pennies and that's that's a cool thing too because 
these Cheerios pennies actually were crazy. This right here, as you see, for twenty nine dollars for two, two, uh, two pennies. And if you look, purchase, you bought this item. So I went down through here for twenty nine dollars and I purchased both of these Cheerios pennies, which, I mean, they were like brand spanking new. Those packages are clean all the way around. The coins look really nice in there. It looked like you had to store it away somewhere. Packages are flat. Um, so yeah, these are beautiful coins and 29 bucks. You get these things graded. You get these things graded for $18 or whatnot. You send it off. They send you the COA back. Plus if it comes back into 66 grade, they're $135. So if you got 135 bucks a piece for there, you know, I just made out 240 some odd dollars off of these two pennies here. So definitely want to look at that. Definitely want to make sure. If you got any questions, please, you guys, just ask me. Let me know. I'm always here to help you guys. Um, but, yeah, going back over here, so you can see it's got brand new on MS-70s, Carson City's Flying Eagles, Silver Bullion, Barber Coins. So whatever you want to whatever you want to slate on here, you can save it. And you go through here and you can buy off of here, which is pretty easy, pretty nice. It's way easier than eBay. I mean, the fees on here could be, like, less than half of there. You don't have to contend with people on auction blocks on these things. You come in, if you see it, you want it, buy it. Uh, so it's really nice. Like as mentioned on my last video, make sure you're looking, bang for your buck. Make sure you're looking at all these coins, comparing them to other coins. Um, 30 wheat rolls with Indian cents in there for 350 bucks. That's crazy. Flying Eagle cents, $25 a piece. But this is a great website to go to. But also, as mentioned, take your coins Check out this website and see what they're posting for. See what they're selling for. Um, you can also look up in, as you see, West Point Coins, Cat Bus, so forth, so on. What they're selling in droves for. Uh, compare your coins on here. If you want to put your coins on here, start a profile. Save you some things on here. But this is an actually pretty nice website. Um, yet again, since I don't have very many coins here in front of me, I come here and I buy quite a few coins. But you guys pay attention come uh, probably the next video. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I wanted to give a shout out um, to Justin Roth, who I actually bought some uh, gold from uh, last week. He sent me, he, he he had a quarter ounce of gold. And yet again, I did my study, looked around a bunch of shops, went back to him. He had a quarter ounce of gold for $715.00. After taxes and everything, he sold it to me. Shipping and all was like seven forty, so now you're able to get a quarter ounce of gold. I think it's up there with like eight seventy to like nine hundred dollars coming up almost for a quarter ounce of gold. So make sure, uh, like I say, Justin Roth, thank you for that. But you guys jump on here, y'all check around. Uh, There's another website to play around with if you guys are on uh, watching the video. Hope you like the video, you guys. Y'all make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Please send me a comment. Please comment on here if you don't mind, if you need some questions or answers or whatnot. I'm just trying to do little nitpicks, information to help you guys out uh, further along. I know it's a lot going on out in the world and as has always been, but make sure you're checking out these websites. Make sure you hit me up. Got a bunch of people that would definitely help you guys out. Hope you have a fantastic day. Hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys on the next video.